Hello, I'm Arisat Hong Tan, the founder of Below the Tides, a youth-led marine conservation initiative in Thailand. I'm also the first youth to be recognized as a net zero individual. This is an incredibly amazing achievement that I'm really proud of, but it is also one that drives me to accomplish even more. Over the years, I've had the privilege of leading campaigns such as Zero Starving Sea Turtles, which raised over 600,000 baht in funds for conservation, and Coral Fish Gong Grass, Papla Yunyana Gokma, which aims to embrace sustainable tourism through engagement through the communities. We have also supported Thailand seagrass habitats and the conservation of dugongs through the campaign Long Live Dugong, Yu Yong Hong Payun. Through these efforts, I've learned that true accomplishment comes from community engagement and leading by example. However, I don't just stop at activism. I've also delved deep into research. My first study being Green Secrets Unveiled, Probing Carbon Storage and Assessing Footprint in Living Spaces. This looks at how everyday vegetation in our homes can help sequester carbon and reduce personal footprints. Building onto this, my second study, Living Carbonomics, Tracking Footprint and Storage Dynamics Above and Below Ground, explores how we can reach carbon neutrality through nature-based solutions, particularly backyard ecosystems. These experiences has shaped my policy proposals for a net zero Thailand. First, we must invest in local nature-based solutions. My research proves that even small ecosystems like gardens or community green spaces can help sequester carbon. I propose a net zero backyard pilot program to engage communities in tracking carbon footprint and incentivizing the planting of native vegetation. Secondly, I believe we must elevate ocean conservation as a key strategy. Coastal ecosystems like mangroves and seagrasses are vital carbon sinks. I recommend formal recognition of blue carbon in Thailand's national climate strategy, along with youth-led ocean guardians fellowships to train and fund the next generation of marine conservation leaders. Thirdly, environmental education is critical. My proposal is to create a national climate literacy curriculum that includes ocean conservation, sustainable lifestyles, and ways to reduce carbon footprints, not just for coastal youth, but for those inland too. Finally, youth participation is key. I was honored to represent Thai youth at Thailand's net zero parliament, and I believe we need to institutionalize youth voices in climate policy. My proposal is to create a youth climate council under the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment to ensure that our generation is directly involved in shaping Thailand's climate future. Together, we can make Thailand a leader in net zero emissions. It'll take all of us, especially the youth, to transform our communities and policies. Let's unite for a sustainable future. Thank you.